Question 20. On Saturday, Laura read two fifths of her book. On Sunday, she read the other 90 pages to finish the book. How many pages are there in Laura's book? Well, if she read two fifths of her book, that must have meant there was still three fifths of the book left to read because two fifths plus three fifths equals the whole book. I'm just going to write that there. Two fifths plus three fifths equals a whole book. So if she's already read two fifths on Saturday, there must be another three fifths left to read. But then we get told that on Sunday she read the other 90 pages. So what this means is that the three fifths that she'd still got left to read must be equal to 90 pages. So in other words, three fifths of the whole book must equal 90 pages. Now we've got to figure out how many pages there are in Laura's book. Well, if three fifths is worth 90 pages, one fifth must be this number shared by three. So if we divide by 3 we're going to get what 1 fifth is so 90 divided by 3 is 30 pages so 1 fifth is 30 pages 2 fifths would be 60 pages 3 fifths would be 90 pages so once we know what 1 fifth is we can figure out what 5 fifths would be and 5 fifths would be the whole book well, if 1 fifth is 30 pages, 5 fifths is this 30 pages times by 5. So 30 pages times by 5 is 150 pages. 3 times 5 is 15, and then you've got the 0 to add on the end, which makes it 150 pages. So the whole book must have been 150 pages. Just to recap that, she read 2 fifths on Saturday which meant there was three fifths still left to read on Sunday. But this three fifths must have been equal to this 90 pages here. So if three fifths is worth 90 pages, if you divide that by three, you're gonna get one fifth. And 90 divided by three is 30 pages. So if one fifth is 30 pages, the whole book is gonna be five fifths, so you need to times that by five. And 30 pages times five is 150 pages.